Plasma rifles or plasma casters are high-tech weapons firing superheated bolts of plasma, powered by either microfusion cells, heavy energy cells, plasma cartridges, or plasma cores which find numerous applications in military and industrial fields. The bolts form into toroids in the plasma chamber, which are then sent down a superconducting barrel, propelled by, and in some models stabilized by, electromagnetic claws upon exiting it. However, the plasma bolt chamber can be hotwired in order to accelerate the bolt formation process, effectively turbocharging the rifle. The primary damage mechanism of plasma rifles is thermal transfer, causing serious burns to soft targets and melting hard ones. In extreme cases, the plasma can cause spontaneous dissolution of the target, including separation of soft tissues from hard ones or wholesale molecular destabilization that turns the target into a viscous green fluid. Initially, the weapon was a bulky, industrial plasma caster, manufactured by Winchester Arms. While it performed admirably, it was expensive and required specialized training to use. However, later developments for the United States Army would lead to a more compact design that was cheaper to produce and easier to train for, perfectly suited for urban warfare. An additional model known as the Gatling Plasma, made in a similar fashion to the Gatling Laser, would also come into use. This plasma rifle is a lightweight urban warfare weapon created as part of a desire to replace the aging Winchester P-94 plasma caster design. This design was produced and fielded in number prior to the Great War of October 23, 2077. This however was not the end of the design nor manufacture of this weapon platform. Prior to the nuclear Armageddon, REPCONN Aerospace, as a subsidiary of Robco Industries, would successfully develop an improvement from their spaceflight research, with significantly advanced factions tinkering with the design post-Armageddon. 